one child with this man right here and he is intentionally not trying to work to avoid paying the child support and he's not helping with our child he's not helping doing anything nothing or nothing ma'am he's not giving you any money no ma'am is he he paying for lunches no ma'am nothing i can barely get him to call and talk to his son is there anything else you want me to know before i move to him no ma'am sir yes yes judge is there a reason you're not <laughs> supporting your child uh, well, from what she, I, the attitude that she has today, I, I, I'm lost. First off, I, I do everything that I can for the kids. Okay, when, when you say you do everything, she's right. saying you do not do anything. So what is everything that you're doing? Uh, well, when she asked me to pick them up, I pick them up. Okay, uh, let, me, that was, keep let, me, let me ask a better question. What are you doing financially to provide for this child? Oh, uh, well, I don't have a job. That wasn't my question. What are you doing financially? to help support this child. I guess nothing. Your Honor. You guess nothing. Yes, ma'am. He did have a job at the post office, but once they took out child support, he quit. Okay. Literally long, right afterwards. How long were you working at the post office, sir? Um, probably about two months. Two months? Okay. Is that about accurate? He was working I, about two months? I believe so. Okay. So you don't work in, are you currently seeking employment? Like what, what are you doing? Now, uh, I'm going to be honest with you, I I'm trying to start my rap career, so I really want to, uh, right now I'm selling CDs at my truck. Here we I'm go gonna be honest with you. Yeah. You're selling CDs. And your so, honor, he, I have he does. That, what? He does make money under the table. Th that's his goal. Selling CDs? Again, I know he, he's bringing in something, um, but I don't know how much. But again, I'm telling you, it's intentional. Like, he's he's doing it on purpose so that he can avoid paying child support. Sir, how, how much are you selling these CDs for? Uh, on a good day, I'm I'm getting at least three dollars. Three dollars, you know, per CD. Uh, yeah. Ma'am, how much does it cost for you to pay for? How much is it monthly for your groceries to pay for? Oh, lunch for these kids? monthly. I'm looking about maybe five hundred. I packed lunch. What? Um, five hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. And you're making three dollars per you CD. How, how many CDs are you selling a day, sir? I like twenty. You're selling twenty CDs in a day. Yeah, and you're me, making, like, I get gas. I get gas. Um, you know, they give me a little food or whatever. Like, so you're making like sixty dollars. So you understand that's not enough to support this child, right? If you divide five hundred dollars, right? That's right. how much your groceries are, correct? You divide that by thirty days, which are typically what's in a month. That's sixteen dollars and sixty-seven cents a day. So you're not spending time. You're not financially supporting them. So you're just leaving everything up to mom, right? Yes. Yes, Your Honor. Where, she always, she always say it's my child. Excuse me, sir. It is your child, oh. just like it's her child. No, I'm my saying when she say every time we have an argument or a conversation, it's, well, it's my child, it's my niece. But when it's time to take care of the kid, you know. So you think that by her saying this is my child, that means she is solely responsible for paying for the child too? Is that what you're telling me here today? If I ain't got no money. That is your best case here today. I, I'm just telling you, Judge, I tried with this lady. You know, I have seven other children and she- Seven I, I other children. I, I How know. are you affording to have seven children, sir? Why well, I gotta play on anything? You you came here to waste my time, obviously. We are not about to play these games. Understood? Yes, ma'am. You are going to pay this woman child support to support your child. The court has the obligation to make sure that we give you credit for any other children that you may have, but you are gonna start giving her something to financially support these children. Now what I can do because you, based on the paperwork you gave me, you did not work at the post office long enough for me to be able to just see what you're making on a consistent basis. So I will set your child support at minimum wage. That brings your gross to about $1,256. Your net, I have it at about $1,121.54. Your child support obligation a month is $203, okay? Uh -huh. Well, I, t I take that back, you said you have can I, children, correct. Can you get up in like six months? I got to pay that monthly? You will pay that monthly. And it will come out based on how you were paid. Were you paid twice a week or bi-weekly? How were you paid at your previous job? You saying the CDs or the post office? The post office. Oh, yeah, the post office. Uh, Please do not mention two, that again. Weeks. Talking about some CDs for $3 and I just broke down. It cost $6 I'm, a day to feed your kid. Yes, I do not want to hear anything else about $3. Yes, and you're not actively looking for a job, so you need to actively look for a job as well. Giving you credit, uh, your child support obligation comes out to $145 per month, and that is to be paid each month. Understood? 
There is yeah. not a reason, sir, that I'm going to allow you to walk out of this courtroom and not give this woman anything who is spending $500 a month in groceries to take care of your child. Is there anything else I need to know here today? Yes, why is it that there are so many girls who are hot and successful, but they're still single? I read every dating book under the sun, this is what they said. The first reason they're single is because of something called hypergamy. That means we tend to want to date up, which means women tend to want to date a guy who's got more money and social status than her. This doesn't make women shallow, this is just evolutionary. So as you can imagine, if a woman is already making six figures and super attractive, the chances of her finding a man who's even more career successful, and makes more money, and has more social status, and meets her high standards, is going to be extremely slim. The second reason is because most women who are super career driven lead with their masculine energy because it's what's got them career success whereas what attracts high value men isn't career success in a woman it's a woman who's in her feminine